Hello friends, it's Sketchy, and today, uh, as I was looking at uh, some marshmallow snacks here, I love marshmallows, I was thinking of the Stay Puffed Monster from um, Ghostbusters, and I thought, let's uh, draw this character. So I've got a uh, blue pencil and I've got a black pencil. The black pencil is used to lock in all the details and the blue pencil kind of lets me loosely rough out things and uh, basic shapes without feeling committed to any lines. Let's get started. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow guy starts out as an egg. So I'm just gonna draw a big fat egg, a little bit taper to the top and around to the bottom. And then I'm gonna draw just some basic suggestions of shapes, these little triangle so off this edge draw a little triangle like this and over here I'm gonna draw another little triangle like this he's gonna be putting all of his weight on this leg here over here I'm gonna draw another like little triangle type shape just coming off that shoulder and then over here I'm gonna draw it kind of coming this way so it looks like a little bit of a, a starfish and I haven't done anything with the ends at the very, very top, I'm gonna kinda just trim off the top with a smile. This is his head. And then his the sides of his head are gonna be kinda rounded, like that. And then rounded at the top, a big fat marshmallow. Now let's get started on his legs. Now marshmallows are really, they look like this. There's an ellipse on one end, and then they're kinda fat, on the sides, and then there's an ellipse on the other end. That is a marshmallow. And so we'll do the same thing with his legs. Now his legs consist of two marshmallow segments and then a foot. So to give the, make the illusion that he's actually kind of, uh, this leg is going in the distance, I'm gonna draw the bottom of the first marshmallow. And you won't see the top of the marshmallow because it's behind his body here. I'll just do the same thing right here. And I'm really basically creating an ellipse. An ellipse, ellipse. And then his foot at the very, very end, I'm gonna create just a little bit of space. I'm gonna create kind of like a little smile all the way up. This is his heel. And then I'm gonna create a toe. Like that. Probably draw on the rest of his foot on the other side big fat foot and a little toe. Now we'll do the same thing on this leg, but this time instead of drawing, making sure the ellipses go away from us, they're gonna come forward. So I'm gonna draw the first marshmallow like this. The second marshmallow like this. And on the third one, I'm gonna draw the, the bottom of his foot. So I'm gonna draw an oval like this. And then to make it look like it's actually a foot shape, I'll draw his heel like that. And his other heel like that. So it's a fat foot. You can see how the tops of these marshmallow pieces kind of go toward him and this one goes away from him. Now we'll do the same thing with his, his, uh, his arms too. So I, I think I drew this one way too low, but I'll just kind of move it up a little bit like that. Okay, and so the first shape is, is gonna be his shoulder shape. So this is, I'll draw the first segment like this, and then the second segment. It's a little bit smaller of a marshmallow than this big one here. If I were to draw the whole marshmallow, it'd look almost like that. Here's a second marshmallow. And the third, the hand is basically like a little circle. So I'll draw a little circle and then a thumb just a little sausage thumb, and then a little finger here, and another finger here. It's a little bit longer than this one. And then a pinky, it's this tiny little pinky. And over here, I'm gonna draw it so that the arm looks like it's going uh, toward us. This is going away from us, and this is gonna come toward us, so the shoulder's gonna be kind of in the front here. So I'll draw the first marshmallow segment and then the second the second marshmallow segment and then the hand 
So notice I'm not using my wrist very much. I'm just using my shoulder to create those big, beautiful curves. Now I'll draw the thumb flesh right here on the palm. That lets me know where the thumb's going to be. The thumb's going to be straighter on this side and curved on the inside. And let's draw the middle finger right here first. That middle finger gives us a sense of scale for the other one because the pointer finger is going to be a little bit smaller. And then the pinky is going to be even smaller than that. I'll connect those palms together. Now let's draw his face. Right in the middle of his face, I'm going to draw a little arch. This is going to be kind of his nose. And then right below here is this little smile. Arch, a little smile, and I'll put in a tongue. Now his eyes, let's draw this little kind of circle eyes where the bottoms are cut off of his nose. And I'll draw one right here, about the same size. And his pupils are just right off. And I'll make him point the same direction. So he's looking off over here. His eyes, his mouth. Now, he has, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man has a hat. And it starts kind of in the middle of his head and then it kind of comes down to about right here. So I'll just draw an arch like this. And then I'll draw a similar arch like this. And then right around here, about almost where it touches the, the head, I'll draw another ellipse. And then right at the back of his hat, he has this like little flag shape like that. Well. The, uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was also um, designed after a... The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man has a little sailor outfit. And so right about right here, let's draw a little line. And then it arches up to his shoulder. And then this arches up too. It goes right around, it's like a little cape. And then he's got a little line here, line here, and then a line across here. Underneath this um, neck piece, he's got a little neckerchief and there's a little knot right about here. So I'll draw a little circle and then part of the neckerchief comes in from behind here, but you don't see it until it pops up under here. So this one comes up around his neck, comes around his neck and then it ties here and then there's two little pieces. So I'll just draw a little piece like that. And it tucks in right here. A little, draw a little dimple. And then uh, make a little pretzel knot here, a little crease. So there we have our Stay Puffed Marshmallow guy. And I'm gonna lock it all in with a black pencil. Uh, there are lots of messy lines in here, but I get to choose which lines I wanna keep with my black pencil. Sometimes just to make the whole overall design look crisp and it pops out, I might just outline the whole thing. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just, we're just having fun. Unless someone's paying you to, uh, to draw the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, just have fun with it. I hope you had fun drawing with me. See you next time.